myself. Here I'm going to put in the password that I've assigned you. And we're going to log in. And this brings us to our Codesters program. And you'll notice the module right now is Intro to Codesters. If you notice the two bars up along the top here, these are the courses themselves. Right now, I just have the two listed because we're just doing Intro to Codesters. And then the next one after that is Intro to Python Part 1. And you can see from it that we actually have loads and loads and loads of lessons to work through. So there's actually uh, almost over 100 lessons involving uh, this particular program. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start on lesson one. And that brings us to this window right here. And it gives us our learning objectives. Our learning objectives is we're going to develop a background. We're going to create a sprite. We're going to use some actions to make the sprite move. And we're going to use a click event to make your program interactive. And then we're going to have a project that we complete at the end which you can share with everybody in fact and so if we take a quick look here we've got a whole bunch of things going on it's really important that we look at our dashboard right up at the top here i've got my home button that home button is going to be important especially here at the beginning because when i click on that home button i'm going to continue and it actually takes me right back to that initial window one of the things that I can do is if I go to my name and my account settings, this is actually where I can change my password, in fact, as well as some other things. Okay, so that initial password that I give you to get into the account, that's just, just to get you in. I would strongly recommend, please go in and change your own password to uh, something that you will remember. But we're going to hop back to our first lesson, get through our initial window here. And again, you can see all of my lessons are built in here as well, rather than going back to my home page. This over here tells me exactly which activity that I'm on. And you'll notice here that it actually lists them all as well. So for this first module, we're actually going to be doing 18 lessons. My toolkit is where I'm doing most of my work, and here's my view up here. So my activity image is what it's what this should be looking like down here in a minute once I run through this. And this is my chalkboard or my board that I'm actually going to be working on. They call it the code editor. And this is where I'm actually going to be putting all of my work to create it. So if I hit run, as it says up here, click run to see an example. And it created for me background image. So in this case, I've got a winter scene. As you can see right here, I've got a winter background. It also has a sprite in this case, which is a fox. And I've got a clicking motion where it says, click on me. Hey there, Codesters, and so on. And all of that spinning and so on is doing the same type of thing. So it says to click submit and next to continue. So I click my blue button submit and then finally I'm going to hit my next button to continue. So now you'll notice that along my top here on my preview it changed from blue to green because I've successfully completed it and now I'm ready for two. And so on activity number two, this is where we're going to put in our background image. And it says in the toolkit on the left side of your screen, find stage and click on it. So I actually have three here, graphics, logic, which gives me several stages, and subject. So I want to make sure I'm on graphics. It's already highlighted stage for me, so I'm going to click it again. You'll notice down here I've got all these blue boxes. One of the great things about the Codesters program is here at the beginning, it's actually going to highlight the box that I want in that orange to make it really obvious. So I'm going to come to that summer box and it's a drag and click. 
And as soon as I drag it into my code editor, it immediately puts that entire Python script in for me. And I'm ready to hit run. And you'll notice in this case, every time that I do it right, it's going to give me that great job up at the top. So when I see that great job, I know I've got it right. So in this case, I'm going to hit submit. And I'm going to hit next activity. And so now I'm going to move into my third one. And then on my third one, you'll notice here it says, click in the code editor and change the image label from summer to winter. So the code editor, again, my big black box here. They want me to change, and it's highlighted for me already, that summer to winter. So instead of deleting out that line, I can actually click right in the code editor and change to what I want. And so in this case, I hit run. I got my great job. So I'm going to hit submit. And I'm ready for activity number four. So you can see these activities really don't take long. Uh, you're moving fairly quickly through it. So that's why there's so many lessons, but they're really, really short. So uh, hopefully uh, you won't get too discouraged as you start to work through it. As we get a little further along, you will notice there are some that are pretty difficult. And if you have to skip over one, which we'll all show here in just a second, it works. So in this particular case, I've got debugging number one. The program doesn't work. Something's got a, it's got a bugger and error in it. So we have to debug it. Rule, image labels must always have quotes around them. So in this particular case, it's going to give us instructions like this to help us with our de debugging process. You'll notice the word city is in brown. So because it's in brown, that immediately tells me where the problem is. Again, Coasters is helping us out with that. And I can see in this particular case, I'm missing a quotation mark. So by putting the quotation mark in, it changed it from brown to green. Green is good. And so in this particular case, I'm going to hit run. Great job debugging the program. And so I've got it correct. So again, I'm going to hit submit. And I'm going to hit next. As I said before, we're gonna skip over this one just a little bit. You'll notice here it says click on sprites in the toolkit. So this is where I'm going over to graphics. I click on sprite and it says drag out person number one. So I'm gonna go through my blue boxes here and I'm gonna scroll down until I find person one. And so person one, I'm gonna drop below the background because I wanna make sure it's in the right spot. I'm gonna hit my run button. I got my great job. I'm gonna hit my submit. And finally, I'm gonna hit my next. We're gonna finish off at this point with what happens if I get to a box where I cannot figure it out. I don't know what to do. You can skip that particular activity and come back to it afterwards. And I'll show you how you do that now. Again, if you simply go to the next activity, actually, I'll hit the submit button, I think, maybe. Maybe not. I hit run. And you'll notice in this case, did you change the sprite's image? So I don't have my great job here. But I'm going to go ahead. I can't figure it out. I've been trying, trying, trying. I'm going to hit my submit button. And then I'm going to hit next activity. It says you haven't got the full points for the activity. Are you sure you want to move on? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move on. So I'm going to continue to that continue to next activity. And you'll notice up here that it changed it to red now. Well, as I continue moving along, I may be able to figure out from the later activities, oh, that's how I fix that one as it continues to give me more instructions. So I can actually go back to it. I'm going to continue without submitting again. And I'm going to kind of redo this. And you'll notice it took out that earlier one. It's taken me right back to my same spot. So we want to change it. says click in the code editor, change the sprite's image label from person one to fox. 
Let's click over here. I'm going to change it right to Fox. Make sure you got your quotes and parentheses. I'm going to hit Run, and I got my great job. I hit Submit. I hit Next Activity, and I can move on to the next one. So hopefully that gives you a start as to how to do um, Codesters. We will continue working through some of the other lessons and some of the other uh, uh, online programming that uh, we're offering up to folks right now. And uh, so keep watching and uh, have fun.